This is lesson 10. I I thought I would uh, show you my uh, Kai Shi display board that I use in class. And as you see, it, it shows the uh, nine houses of the Kai Shi. And then I did some sample birthdays, which, which you may want to take a note and copy. And I'm showing the politician's arrow. They call him an arrow at the... Uh, you know, the sequence uh, straight up on the left side. Polite, tactful, organized. And they show the arrow of action that when this line is full, the person is very motivated. Otherwise, they're afraid to do something or they don't have the confidence or the certainty to, to go ahead. And this is the arrow of strength. That means that they feel in control. And uh, over here, I'm showing how to figure out the life path where you do add the month and the day as well as the year of birth and uh, I'm showing how to compute various birthdays this is all on my table chart and uh, it shows the heart line uh, going straight across in the middle and that's full somebody feels connected and usually they have a pretty good old age it says and they're very spiritual and money tends to come to those with the bottom full line as well as health and en energy. And uh, this line right here uh, is the, the line of emotional balance. And when that's not full, it's, it becomes the line of suspicion, which means you don't trust people around you. Uh, the center line is the line of willpower determination. Otherwise, if somebody isn't strong in this line, they're trying to satisfy other people and, and not do what they really want to do. Uh, here's a birthday, and it shows three nines, and an eight and five and a couple ones. The two ones usually mean they see both sides of an issue. The nines make somebody very uh, uh, opinionated, and they have a lot of confidence in their uh, own mentalities. A lot of times they feel superior to other people mentally. And, and they could be arrogant. Uh, the next one is the headline. That's, like I said, clear thinking. The person uh, has good intellect and, and they can see things pretty clearly. Uh, then this is the... Uh, the arrow of confusion. That's if they had all zeros uh, up on top. And the arrow of loneliness is that when they go across and they have all zeros going across, which means no numbers, uh, if it's that extreme. And the, the bottom, uh, the arrow of disorganization is, goes up straight up. They don't have the politician's arrow. And... Uh, over here, like I said, it's the arrow of loneliness. And this arrow here is a lack, lack of determination and willpower. Now, when the three and the one um, line up in such a way, it used to be called the criminal line, but it's actually a line of either detail or deceit. But they found that criminals uh, are clever enough to be deceitful, and they, they almost always have... Uh, that lineup, and this is the arrow of litigation. It's like when the three and the nine are lined up, uh, a catty corner to each other, or alongside of each other. There's a tendency of something uh, legal or insurance brewing. But insurance could be AAA, medical insurance, dental insurance, car insurance, uh, anything that has to do with insurance. You know, most people don't think of it that way, but that is insurance, uh, AAA, life insurance, car insurance, dental insurance, prescription insurance. Now, before we were talking about having a number, uh, a number of ones in your uh, birthday, just laid out straight without even putting it on a chart, and also twos and. Uh, it was stated that if there's three um, twos going going at the same time during a period, you usually hear of a major illness. Um, 
Now, number three has to do with uh, an intuitive person that's good at giving advice to other people. And the arrow of science is considered like a seven and a one together. And it, it could also have something to do with water or research. It could do with oceanography or the ocean and water and research or anybody that um, deals with looking into things in a concise manner. Now, when somebody uh, is in a period that is similar to their achievement, which again is the day and the month added up to uh, together, when they're, if they have a four achievement and they're in a four cycle, it usually gives them an opportunity to do something that they really want. So this is uh, lesson 10.